Oh, okay. Hello. Fire explosions and yeah. Stuff's going on. This is not good. Oh, okay. We also have an Assaultron! Ouch! Okay, what, what punched me, what punched me, what punched me? The Assaultron punched me. <laughs> Grenade! Grenade! Seriously, dude. Just already... Just die. Just die. Just die. Oh, car! Oh, <laughs> so many explosions and I can't see anything. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, stop throwing stuff. It's not nice to throw stuff. Where are you? Where are you? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head. Yeesh. Okay, we need something... A little quicker shot. Okay, something with a little more firepower. This is not firepower, but yeah. Yep, that's what you get. Ow, ow! Stop with the green stuff. Oh. Okay, everyone is down. Rodney, get up. I need you. I need you, Rodney. <laughs> Where is everyone else? Elvis, stop just staring at stuff. Everyone, get up. Get up, 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 get up. Get up. Go. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. One more time. There we go. Okay, I have no clue where, uh... <sighs> Dang it. Get away from me. Drop that weapon, boy, or I'll blow you straight to Jesus. Ouch. Okay. <clears throat> Things are finally coming under control. There we go. Ouch. Take it easy. I don't like you, Captain Gunner. There we go. Shot him in the butt. Got him in the boat. Ouch! Seriously, and uh, get up, idiot! You have no head. You have no head. There's a trip mine right there. We almost stepped on one. Foo, 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 foo. Lots of gunfire still taking place. Uh, oh, hello. Not see you there. There we go. And get up. Get up. Get up, Duke. Duke. There we go. Everyone up. Every except for Elvis. I don't know where Elvis went. He was standing over here. I told you to get up. And your face has changed color. Dang it. Young fella, if you're looking for trouble. Yeah, go go you. deal with them. We'll fix your face later. Da, da, da. Deactivate that. I said disarm. Okay. 
Is there two? There are two sitting on top of each other. Dang it! Who's still shooting at us? Oh, there's people up there. Okay. 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 So this is the garage I believe they're talking about. There's some radiation. We need to make it daytime. Okay, well we do have an undiscovered location over this way. I think is probably going to be the storefront. Yep. SD Mart 418 requires key. Can't pick this. I don't have the lock. Um, or the key. They said they pushed him up the hill and hid his car in the bushes. Oh, okay. Uh, there is an underground section to the garage where the stairs are. I am going to. Uh... Oh, I thought that I had a <laughs> radiation suit on this character. I will just call my power armor over to us. Okay, my companions are having too much fun without me. Um, I'm going to take some Radux real quick and run down there. And then again try and get my uh, vertebrae to show up. Okay. Oh! Nope! There it was. Ha! Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Open up and close up. There we go. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Yump. There we go. I need to get a jetpack for this thing. Okay. Going into the basement. We do have... Okay, another lock. Yes. Got some ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Money. And nothing really relevant to this mod. Closed off section, interesting. Wait. This goes back up. This goes back up. Ah, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, we're still looking around. Okay, that took way, way, way too long. So we're back at the original store. Um, behind it, there's the little entrance that got us inside. We got an angry squirrel over here. Um, so anyways, here is the car. Uh, when they said they pushed it up the hill, I was looking at the very top of the hill, not, not, not halfway up the hill, or not even halfway up, we're like a quarter of the way up. Anyways, so the guy is dead right here, there is his, uh, Quincy SD Mark key. So, we got the key that we need. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the other location. Okay, we're here. Sun's gone down. We got the key. Let's sneak inside. Okay, do we have uh, ghouls again? Got some headless ghouls once more. None of them are alive, which is good. We are at the front of the store this time at the back. I don't know where my crew went off to and it's making me nervous. I'm going to call them in here. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hello. Nice of you to join me. And we got disappearing ghouls again. Oops. Okay, hello. Ghouls. Ghouls. Oh, hello. Hey, you can't walk through walls. I can't walk through walls. You can't walk through walls. Okay, oop. Yeah. 
my hands in muddy water. Uh -huh. Okay. So, also at the other store back here where this trunk is, there's a dead guy sitting there. He's got a name. He's got nothing interesting on him. Just thought that I'd point that out. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, keep looking around here. See if there's anything worthwhile. That just loops around on itself. That goes into that area. Oh, and I also uh, <laughs> unlocked this door and it went nowhere on the other store. There is a whole nother section to this store, though. But we will first uh, look down here. Um, yeah. See if there's... There is a computer. More reading. <laughs> Let's check out the break room first. Hello. Man's gotta do that. Dang, you took a lot, Romer. Okay. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hello. <laughs> it's so sad that this is like the only location that they actually did it in the main game. Where they climb through. I'm gonna grab one of these uh radiation suits since I don't have one. Do. Okay. Let's go read terminal after we uh, loot a bit. Oh, he's in jail. He deserves to be in jail. Evil, evil teddies. Okay. Mr. Bottomsley. Sit down. Personal logs. Oh boy, lots of logs. Let's take a look at this other one. Email archive. Oh, oh, and it keeps going. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Reading the mod. <laughs> okay. First entry. File corrupted. Good. Second entry. File corrupted. Good. Third entry. Okay, REF, Alberto DeSalvo. Helen, would you please notify Mr. DeSalvo down in maintenance that he needs to report to HR over at the new district office regarding errors in his employment record? Seems security wants to talk to him about the recent assault charge filed against him by one of the customers attempting to strangle someone with a pair of nylons is not to be taken lightly, even if it was only a joke. <laughs> that was this one, right? Yeah. Nope, nope, that's a new one. Okay, so that was... Yes, that was that one. This is this one. No, not the main office, Helen. He needs to go to the HR security office over by... Chestnut Hillock Reservoir. It's right next to the... MTA station, remember? It's just a block east of Joe Spucky's Dread. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the location we'll be going over to. So Chestnut Hill Hawk. Okay, I will try and remember that. Well, how the hell was I supposed to know? I mean, it's not like he was a wore a sign or something. Hey, I'm the Strangler. Sure, he was kind of kinky, you know, but I never thought for a moment he could be the guy. Well, okay. So we confirmed that guy is that guy. And the emails... Uh, corrupted! Okay. Corrupted! Okay. I had to go over to 420 yesterday for a manager's meeting and couldn't even get in the parking garage. The place was surrounded by armored cars and soldiers with guns. There were barricades and checkpoints set up everywhere. I had to park three blocks away and walk in the rain. And 
Then, when I finally got to the store, they wouldn't let me in because I forgot my ID, so I had to walk all the way back to the car to get it. Before I got back, I was stopped three times by soldiers for acting suspicious. For a moment there, I thought I was at a Vault Mart store. I mean, it was just like all the stores... Stories the guy at CTA have been telling us about Vault Mart stores being converted to secret military sites and warehouses. They're going to freak when I tell them about this. Okay, that one's that one? No, that was that one. Yes. I have no clue where this 420 store is, so... Finally, after having been rudely evicted from my own store without notice for over a week, they finally let us back in the store. All I got told was that upper management was doing some remodeling. It was just like 420 all over again. Except it was my flocking store. When I went to the to complain, some mega starred general named Carson got all in my face and threatened to throw me in the stockade for interfering with military business. Some smacks of conspiracy. What with all the hush hush security they put up around the place while the store was closed. Funny thing is, the only thing char changed was a security door in the parking garage where there wasn't one before. They didn't remodel a damn thing in the store. In fact, the place was trashed. Whoever remodeled helped themselves to food, drinks, and the break room, my office, and didn't clean up one bit of their mess. I filed an official complaint with some guy named Hobbs in security. Then I told him that all the remodeling amounted to was a new door in the parking garage. He deemed there was even he denied there was even a door there. When I showed him a picture of the non-existent door, he said I was suspended, s spending too much time with those kooks in Conspiracy Theorists Anonymous, and that the door had always been there. He even sent a photo from when the store was being built back in 62 that had a door right there in the parking garage. I told him he was full and was part of the conspiracy. I've managed that flocking store since 63, used the parking garage daily, and never once saw the flocking door before. This week, told him if it wasn't going to... if he wasn't going to do something about it, I would do it myself. What the hell? How did he know I was a member of CTA? Ooh. that one right yes Boop. after the inventory there was over five thousand dollars in merchandise missing when I told corporate they told me I had to finish find a way to absorb the losses prior to a newly scheduled audit next month oh my god I was working late Tonight, trying to cover up all the losses in inventory when I accidentally discovered a secret email program running on the computer system. <laughs> then I decided to type this up on the same computer. Uh, to me, a while took took me a while to hack into it, but it was worth it. I can hardly believe what I found. Vault Mart has taken over SD Mart at least in secret anyways, apparently in cahoots with some ultra-secret organization calling, called the MSL, and even have some top brass in the Commonwealth. NG working with them. There was a lot of emails about some sort of super suit they built. They built some sort of command center under my store, and I found proof of an even bigger site under 
420. That's that one's supposedly super secret. What the hell is going on? Not only that, but according to the message I downloaded, there's several more secret bases scattered around Boston area, and they're all controlled by Voltmart, most specifically by Polly Volton, son of Sam and sole owner of Voltmart and all the subsidiaries. Nuka World Atomic general and robco or gallery and, and robco plant uh soft lock solutions poseidon energy they're all part of it this is flocking huge i copied everything onto a holotape gotta find a safe place to hide it it's the only insurance i've got so that i don't mysteriously disappear one of these days and then they killed him uh, or something. Actually, we don't know what happened with that guy just yet. Next. Someone's following me, I'm sure of it, and I'm pretty sure the house is being watched. Shirley said she saw a strange van parked in front all day yesterday. Would be surprised if phones are bugged too. Had to work late again tonight. Thought I'd see if I could hack that email program again. Didn't even get a chance to try, though. I got locked out as soon as I got on the com corporate server. I hope it was an automatic response and not someone watching me. Keeping a low profile, it's been two days and no one from security has contacted me. Left the holotape with Herschel at CTA last night. Then they killed him. Some lady from security just called and threatened me. She's, She very politely told me she knew what I had done and that I shouldn't even do it again ever do it again, or she would have to do something very painful to me. She ordered me to report to security first thing in the morning. To hell with that. If they want me, they're going to have to come here. I haven't done anything wrong. If they're going to, going to fire me, they'll have to fire me in my own store. That's the last one. I'm pretty sure, yes. Hey. So interesting money. Poke around. We've already looked through everything here. Okay, out of my way. Out of my way. Go through the hole. So we got Oop, oh, hello. You're dead. Grab that. Oh, hello. You're dead too. Money. Okay, we got an underground area. And a dead end. And there's some lights. Um, I'm gonna try something here. Nope, okay. I was hearing that someone had to, at one point, use a no clip to get to a next stage in this, so let's poke around again some more. Looks like we got ourselves some trouble. Got some friends here. I leveled up. Mod author did say, you're going to level up a bunch of times. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. People are having fun without me. Okay, we're going to go back outside and uh, go back into the garage again. Trying to... Oh, hello! There are some... When you gonna learn to shoot? 
Hey. Okay. So what I was trying to say there is I'm trying to find this door down here, but uh, we didn't see a door last time I was down here. So th this is just the stairs that goes up. Oh. Okay. There is a door here. We just didn't see it before. But we need a key. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There is like no clues on where this key could be.